So it looks like you need to point your domain name to web for realty servers. Uh, now it's very easy to do this. The first thing you got to do is find out where was your domain name purchased. Now for many of you, you already know. You know I bought it from GoDaddy, I bought it from Network Solutions, what have you. If you don't know, all you got to do is go to whois.net, okay? The link will be in the tutorial. And what you put in here is the domain name that you purchased. So let's say I purchased raminazim.com, which is my name, and I press search. It will tell me, okay, so it is registered, and it looks like it was registered through GoDaddy. And in many cases, they'll even give me the URL. So if I want to log in, I got to go to godaddy.com. Great, so now I know where my domain name was purchased. The second step, we're going to go to the registrar, which is godaddy.com. Now, once I'm in there, um, I will sign in. Now, of course, you may have forgotten your login. So you could always do a forgot password or a forgot username and go through the steps. Once you're in there, you're going to hit sign in. Now, all registrars are very similar. The main goal here is to get to the area where all your domains are. So for GoDaddy, what I do is I click on the top here and I click My Products. And like I said, uh, most registrars are very similar. Now once you're there, you could click on the domains and it will list out all the domains you own. So in this case, I own RaminaZim.com. How do I point this to the servers? Now what you're going to do is you want to get to an area where you can manage DNS, okay? So you'll either see the words DNS being used or the words name servers being used. Regardless of the case, uh, you need to get this, to this section. And you will know you're at this section by two things. Number one, you'll be able to see the records. So it'll look something like this where you have a bunch of records and values. Um, you don't really need to be familiar with this, but this is how you know you're in the right place. Another thing that you could see is name servers. So in this case, you'll see name servers on your domain, which you could change. So in this case, I need to point my website to Web for Realty servers. So all I do is where it says, uh, you know, using default name servers, I'm going to say change. And for the option, I'm going to say custom because I'm adding my own name servers. So what are the name servers? So it's ns1.w4rserver.com. And all I'm going to do is copy that. And for the second one, it'll be ns2.w4rserver.com. And all I got to do is hit save. And once I've done that, in a few hours, it will propagate. And voila, your domain is now pointed to Web for Realty servers. You can now load your domain through the back end of the website, and your website will be live. Thank you.